the depression and the anxiety that I'd lived with since childhood. Age 37, I could not find it. I couldn't locate it. It wasn't anywhere in consciousness. It certainly wasn't in my body. I realized that through all the ups and downs of life, that some essential part of me, the essence of me, had been untouched, was unaffected. And so I went home and, I mean, truthfully, please do not do this. I did a very stupid thing. I went to the bathroom cabinet and the drugs that I'd been prescribed, I, I couldn't stop taking them immediately. And I thought, well, okay, I'll take a half, uh, half a dose tonight. <laughs> took a half a dose of the medication, woke up the next day, and still this extraordinary sense of completeness, of wholeness that I had never felt ever in my life was present. It was as if the things that I'd been looking for were already present and correct. I woke up and went about my day quietly the next day, same thing, same sense of well-being same sense of the essence of me the truth of me being the reality of me and then went back to the bathroom cabinet the next night to take the next dose and couldn't do it and threw the drugs away now please do, do not do this if you ever come off these types of medication and i'm talking about the, you know, the prozac and the diazepam temazepam type uppers downers uh, and so-called antidepressant drugs the Cold turkey was extraordinary, it was absolutely, I mean, wrecking. But I knew even through that, and this is the reason I'm sharing with you, I, with, it with you, that I knew even through that experience that who I am was not touched, even through the physical pain of it. I knew that I was whole. I knew that I was well. I knew that this was just physical pain that needed to take place. And sure enough, my body turned around within about three weeks, I would say, the uh, the aches and the pains and the distress of, of going like hard to cold turkey like this disappeared. And I came back to a normalcy and began to notice that my brain was functioning with a clarity that it hadn't had in decades. That given the right opportunity, given the right leading, given the right emotional opening and completion of old issues like this, that my brain knew exactly what to do to reconfigure its own chemistry. And I started to feel waves of bliss and waves of bliss that went on for months as an undercurrent in my life. Even though I was triggered, even though, I mean, life did its thing and the, you know, the shit hit the fan from time to time. But this sense of indelible completeness, satisfaction, peace in who I am, and that has never left me from this time. So for 25 years, I've been working with Brandon to hopefully deepen the tools, to refine the tools, and to show people a different way in life. 